Hello, friends. In this session, we are going to learn Salesforce code management functionality. I'm not going to cover Salesforce CPQ. That is another product which Salesforce has recently acquired from Steelbrick. But we'll see traditional Salesforce uh, code management functionality. So for that, you need to log into your developer sandbox. Once you log into developer sandbox, go to setup. In quick find, search for codes. Friends, in my developer sandbox, code is already enabled. That's the reason I'm getting option like fields, validations, page layout. But if it is not enabled in your developer sandbox, then you will get only one option, code settings. You first need to enable that. So here I'm getting option disable codes. But if it is not enabled in your org, then you will get option to enable that code. So once code is enabled from code setting, you will get other standard option like fields, page layout, etc. So once code is enabled, it will appear in related list of opportunity record. If it is not appeared, then you need to edit your page layout and you need to add code in related list. So here you can see code is coming in opportunity related list. So we'll use opportunity which we have created earlier during our product and price book session. We'll scroll down, we'll go to code session and we'll click on new code. So I'll give name mobile code. We'll put expiry date. So this code is valid till 31st. Will not change any status. We'll say it is under draft. You can create workflow. You can create approval process. If as per business requirement, every codes need to be approved. So once code name is entered, you can enter other details like taxation details, shipping and handling details. So we'll enter shipping and handling amount is 500 rupees. So here you can see total price is coming 7,10,000. It is based on the opportunity product. So if you remember in this particular opportunity, we have added 10 iPhone 7 and one iPhone 7 was costing 71,000. So 71,000 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 10 is coming to 7,10,000. So that is what is my total quote price. Am I adding 500 rupees as a handling charges? Now if I want to add billing details, I can enter those details manually. And I will save this record. So we have created quote record. We haven't generated PDF template. So once you save this record, you will see this two button create PDF start, start sync other than our standard edit delete buttons. So before we sync this record, we'll see PDF template. So for that, you need to click on create PDF. So as of now, there is only one standard uh, PDF template. So this is how your code will look like your company details, billing details, your product details. So you can see the product is iPhone 7, list price is 71,000, but quantity is 10. That's the reason total price is coming 7,10,000. On this, we have added 500 rupees shipping and handling charges. So my total amount is coming 7,10,500. So this is how you can generate your code. You can save this code or you can save and email this code. So from Salesforce itself, you can send this code to your customer. You just need to select two. 
or you can enter it BCC CC details and additional two. Here you can enter subject of that email. If you want to select any email template, you can select that using select template. And from Salesforce itself, you can send that email or code to customer. So we'll cancel this for timing. We are not going to send to anyone. So we, we have seen standard template. Now I'll tell you how to create custom template. So for that, we'll go back to setup. We'll go to code. Here you will see in code, there is an option templates. And here you can see there is only one standard template. We'll create new template for mobile related codes. So we'll give name mobile template. Friends, we are not going to change code page layer. This what we are configuring is our PDF template. So here you can see those details like your organization detail, other details, contact information, shipping details, product details. If you want to add any additional field from quote object, account object, opportunity object, you can do that by selecting those object. If you want to add any image field, so for example, if I want to add logo in header session, then I'll click on text and image file. And I will select my company logo from my desktop or laptop. So this is what I've selected. So this is my company logo, you can see. I'll click on OK. So we have generated new custom template for mobile related code. We'll click on save. So now you can see there are two templates. One is standard template and another one is mobile template. So before we use this template, first we need to activate this template. So here you can see option to activate the templates. Click on activate. So now you can see both the templates are activated. We'll go back to opportunity, which we have created earlier, iPhone 7 mobile. And we'll directly go to the code, which we have already created. So now here you will get option to select template. Here you can see down arrow next to create PDF button. Whether you want to use standard template or you want to choose from custom template. So here we'll type mobile and we'll click on search. So here you can see option mobile template, select this and click on create PDF. So now friends, you can see logo on top left side and other details, product details. So this is how you can customize your code template in Salesforce standard functionality. You don't need to do any coding. You don't need to create any visual force pages. This is something available out of box. Now we'll talk about start sync button. So friends, for one opportunity, you can create multiple code, but you can sync only one code with opportunity. So let me repeat, you can create multiple codes, again, one opportunity, but at a time you can sync only one code with opportunity record. So we'll click on start sync. So what will happen? When you click on start sync, quote item will replace your opportunity products. So initially, if you remember when we created the quote, system capture 
opportunity products into code. But when you sync this record, your code line item will replace your opportunity product. So if you add any additional product into code, it will replace your opportunity products when you sync this record. So let's click on sync. It's done. You can always stop this sync by clicking on the stop sync button. So now here you can see opportunity name is iPhone 7 and there is only one product. But if you want to add new product into code, you can do that. But as of now, there is only one product in my org. So I won't be able to cover that. But if you add another product, then it will replace your opportunity product line item because this code is already synced. But if you stop this sync and if you add the product, then system will not update uh, those product details into opportunity. So now in code related section, you can see other details like code PDF, which we have saved earlier. You can always view those detail. If you, if you create multiple codes and if you want to refer any of your previous previously generated code then you can always view those code and you can always create other standard records like task events if you want to log call if you want to attach any other files so that is possible so that's it for today's session on quotes and quote line item and opportunity i hope you are clear with Salesforce code management functionality. If you have any questions, then you can post comment and I'll try to reply on those comments as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.